Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you hit the bell as well, you'll be one of the first to see when my videos are released. You all have gotten some sneak peeks of it here and there in some intros that I've already done already for some previous Christmas tutorials, but I finally put all of the finishing touches on it and wanted to give you an in-depth look and tour of the entire thing all put together. So let's go ahead and get started with this year's Christmas Coffee Bar Tour. The bar has more of a rustic and cabin type feel. The hot cocoa sign at the top sort of was my inspiration. I pulled things that I already had from around the house and purchased a few new extras to really tie this look all together. So let me walk you through a few of the details of this coffee bar. The sign that I mentioned earlier is from Michael's, but I also saw it at Joanne's as well. The darker red tone is what I really loved about the sign instead of the brighter tones of red. So that's the colors that I sort of stayed with throughout this coffee bar. The lanterns that flank each side of the top shelf are a previous Target Dollar Spot purchase. I have some of my Ray Dunn displayed on the top here. The little sugar dishes are set on stands from Hobby Lobby, and the wreaths were from my stash. I want to say those were from Michael's several years ago, and I actually think those are candle rings. Now moving on to the next shelf down, I have my Christmas Ray Dunn mug collection hanging here, as well as some Target Dollar Spot items and some handmade items. This rustic wood square is made out of pallet wood, and I will link that in the iCards if you'd like to learn how to make your own. I have a tutorial on that from a couple Christmases ago. I also have a sentimental Santa, which my papa actually cut out and built, and then my grandma painted. The crate and this cute Merry Christmas ornament are from the Target Dollar Spot. The pitcher and canister are Ray done. I just turned them around and added a decal to the front of this one. The calendar is also from the Target Dollar Spot. I thought this was super cute because you can use it year round. I also have this old spool that is hand carved and painted and a candle from Home Goods. This hanging rail is from Ikea. It is probably the number one question I get about my coffee bar. It has five hooks on it and I display my Christmas Ray Dunn mug collection here. I was able to find two more to complete my collection so I can display them on this rail and I just love how cute it is and how handy it is to just grab mugs off of here and use them for our coffee. Now moving down to the bottom shelf, which is actually a IKEA cabinet. So we have some more of our Ray Dunn mug collection here, some bowls. I was able to fit our small microwave and I keep my essential oils down here and baskets for items to keep those organized. And then on the top of the cabinet, I have a blanket scarf actually from Hobby Lobby. And then this small tiered tray is from the Target Dollar Spot. The Santa is from my childhood, it's a bank. And then I have a cute Mary Mini Ray Dunn mug. The bottom has a house from Target Dollar Spot last year. I have a, cute, a couple cute little Christmas trees and a red truck in there all next to our coffee maker. This marquee star is from Target several years ago. It's actually been our tree topper for a while, but it made its home here on the coffee bar this year. Here's are from the Dollar Tree. I just painted them and added decals to the front. Next to that is a metal tray from Hobby Lobby. I have another one of my grandparents' painted Santas and Ray Dunn collection on top of there next to a cute little tree. These little peppermint spoons are from the Dollar Tree as well, and I have some cinnamon sitting up there with it. 
Some more of my Ray Dunn collection, another one of my cute antique spools with a Santa carved into it. My grandparents gave me that too. And this little spoon rest, it says Fa La La, my Ray Dunn spoon rest. And then some Target Dollar Spot items back in the back. This cute little miniature tree in a basket is from Target. It's sitting on top of a tray that I handmade from spindles from an old baby bed or a crib. And it really helps to sort of balance the space since we have stairs coming off to the side there. I absolutely love how warm and cozy our kitchen feels with this rustic cabin look. I love the added chalk art that I added to the chalkboard background. It just gives that more personalized touch. I added some holly berries, holly leaves, and some little snowflakes. I always sort of give you a look at our entryway because it is next to our coffee bar. So this isn't quite finished yet. I have some ideas for this, but I had it set up for a shot for another video. So I decided to go ahead and add this in. The bucket is a revamp from a Target dollar spot item. The scarf looks like a blanket, but it's a scarf from Walmart. The tree inside the bucket is from Hobby Lobby along with the snowflake behind it and the lantern that's hanging. You'll have to come back for my home tour, my Christmas home tour that is coming soon so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. joining me for today's coffee bar tour. I hope that it inspired you. Please give this video a thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button next to me. Below that you'll find last year's coffee bar tour so you can see the difference between last year and this year. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram for more inspiration and I'll link those down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.